everybody, what's up? It is Wednesday, January 27th, so I'm sure a lot of you have been following what is going on with GameStop and the bigger picture with this Reddit uh, sub um, section called Wall Street Bets. It's really incredible. I love it. I think it's just, it's, it's unbelievable. This is the revenge of the small investor, the revenge of the proletariat against the faux elites, these big shots in finance, these ridiculous, useless hedge fund operators. So happy to see these guys get euthanized. You know, we had that one Melvin Capital which was short 150% of the outstanding float of game stock. They got eviscerated, okay? But somebody said today, and I think this was very apropos, this is like the French Revolution in finance. You know, off with their heads, Louis XV, Marie Antoinette. Um, this is a fantastic thing. And as I said in yesterday's video, you know, this is the democratization of the financial sector, of Wall Street. Uh, you know, the use of social media and chat rooms uh, to get people involved in a way that is, you know, kind of kind of clawing back years and years of, for the most part, uh, unearned gains on the part of these financial, you know, entities, these hedge funds, these speculators, long shielded by the powers that be, regulators, etc. You know, the sad thing is, I, I saw uh, some news posts late this afternoon about how now the SEC is looking into this, uh, this web this website uh, Wall Street bets and that's unfortunate when you think about it because look at what happened look at the history we have gone through with respect to the big financial institutions the banks when they ran amok you know speculating in these really questionable instruments committing fraud admitting to fraud paying fines basically shielded by the government, shielded by regulators, bailed out to the tune of trillions of dollars by the Federal Reserve. And here we have, you know, the opposite going on, but not in a, in a fraudulent way, but small investors banding together, going after companies that had been targeted by these, uh, you know, shady operators, these speculators, selling down their stock and, you know, getting reamed for it right now. I think that's fantastic. I think that is so awesome. I, I, you know, really, I'm watching this and now you can go online, I mean, and uh, look up. If you just Google stocks with the largest short interest, I mean, it's all over the internet right now. And I think, I think this whole play this whole movement is is in its early stages I mean these guys who started this you know really tapped into something here and this is an issue again I mean th this is this is a class issue man this is like you know the elite class of Wall Street which again a lot of its gains have been ill-gotten uh, to you know the, the, the working class, so to speak, coming after them. I mean, it's fantastic. We're not, we haven't even seen this in the political arena. I mean, it was kind of like brewing and developing, going back to the ridiculous Tea Party movement and then with Trump and, and everything just went chaotic and, and out of control with that. And, you know, he was, a, he was a bum and he was a clown and he was a buffoon and he never delivered on any of his promises. But it's happening now for real in the financial sector. And I just, I just think it's great. Like, I can't throw out enough superlatives right here. I'm just watching the whole thing, and I think it's fantastic. So it's not just game, uh, GameSpot anymore. It is, um, was it GameStop, right? I keep, I keep calling it GameSpot. GameStop, 
you know, they have it in AMC, um, Bed Bath and Beyond, Beyond. I mean, there's a whole bunch of them. There's a whole bunch of them. Um, Macy's even, which doesn't have a big short interest, but you know, a lot of these stocks that have been beaten down, they're seeing some of the, the you know, the overflow from this activity. I mean, it's really been a cascade of activity. And again, I just look at this and I think it is fantastic. It is a long time coming. You know, this country here, we have allowed the financial sector to become so large and so important in terms of its capture of the government, the protection that these entities are afforded all the way from the, the you know, the top level, JP Morgan, which uh, admits to fraud, commits fraud, pays a fine, gets off the hook, right down to these speculators, guys like Stevie Cohen and uh, Point72 Asset Management with his insider trading and he just pays a fine and gets off scot-free. I mean, this is great. I just, I think this movement is in its infancy. I think people are just starting to catch on. I think there's a lot of these um, situations that are going to be exploited. And I mean, unless the government steps in, maybe the SEC, I don't know, maybe the Treasury, maybe the Fed. Uh, Powell was asked about this today. Uh, in his press conference right after the conclusion of the Fed meeting. That was the first question that was asked to him by, um, you know, one of the journalists there. And he's like, well, we don't comment on individual stocks. Um, you know, we, hands off. That That's, you know, I think that would be the right policy at this point. I mean, we need to see, as a country some clawback from decades of these outside profits. Profits that have been taken, basically an extraction, a rent extraction from the economy, right? I've always said, I mean, Wall Street produces nothing. Uh, it's way bigger than it needs to be. The financial sector is, is more of a hassle than, than anything that it provides to, you know, the economy as a whole. Um, it has taken it from the little guy, and it's just so great to see the little guy, uh, you know, come into play in a way like this. And as these hedge fund guys fall, hopefully one after another, man, like a domino effect, you know, I'm just going to be cheering the whole entire way. This is fantastic. Get involved. I'm saying get involved. Uh, the stocks are out there. I'm not, I'm not touting any particular one, but you know, you can find lists of them on the internet. And I think this is in its early stages. This is just going to mushroom. And unless the government steps in, I think this is going to go on for a while. And this is a great thing. All right, everybody. My new podcast is out. Go to the link below. Check it out. I talk about game, uh, game stop. See everybody tomorrow. Bye-bye.